Minister Justin Trudeau would like an embarrassed nation to believe he just didn't know better in 2001 that blackface was racist. Today I'll show you why he is clearly still lying to the Canadian public. In 2001, uh, when I was a teacher out in Vancouver, I attended an end-of-year gala where the theme was Arabian Nights. And I uh, dressed up in an Aladdin costume and put makeup on. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better, but I didn't. And I'm really sorry. How do you feel about this coming out right now in the campaign? Uh, obviously, I, I regret uh, that I did it. Uh, it's not about timing, it's about having done something that I shouldn't have done, and I'm really sorry I did. Have you done, the only time you've done something like this, Mr. Trudeau? Is that the only time in your life you've ever done something like that? Uh, when I was in high school, I uh, dressed up at a uh, talent show uh, and sang Dale with, in, with, 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 uh, with makeup on. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was absolutely lying through his teeth in that apology video. He told a reporter who asked a really good question about if there were more instances of racist performance art out there, and Trudeau said there was just one. This image here from a high school talent show where Trudeau dressed up in blackface and sang Deo. But that was a lie because within 12 hours of Trudeau's apology, Global News reported they had been sitting on a video of Justin Trudeau again performing in blackface in a third instance of Trudeau indulging his bizarre blackface fetish. The Liberals are saying that this image is from the early 1990s. The time frame there would put him in McGill University with his former chief advisor Gerald Butts. Now, I have absolutely no doubt there will be more damning images coming out now that Time magazine has ripped the band-aid off the blackface scandal. But Trudeau was lying about something else, and that is his insistence that in 2001, society was a much different place, that even in the most polite and enlightened society and the elite liberal circles in which Trudeau mingled, no one had a clue that blackface was racist. That is simply untrue. Trudeau is still not telling Canadians the truth. Let's go back to 2001. It's 18 years ago, not all that long ago, and Trudeau, well, he was a 29-year-old high school teacher in a position of power, molding and fostering and influencing young minds. What he did wasn't a youthful indiscretion. This was his fully formed personality proudly on display. Now, this is from the New York Times in 2001, proving blackface was something not only in the news, but something normal people found just grotesque. Fraternities at two southern universities have been seriously disciplined because members in blackface attended Halloween parties. At Auburn University in Alabama, Beta Theta Pi was disbanded and banished from campus after an October 25th party at which some members painted their faces and wore Afro wigs. Delta Sigma Phi has been suspended by the university because of an October 27th party at which one member was photographed in a Ku Klux Klan costume pretending to hang another member in blackface. University of Mississippi officials have suspended Alpha Tau Omega for at least one year because a member costumed as a police officer pointed a gun at a man in blackface. So no, Trudeau. Stop lying to us. No normal person thought blackface was funny or acceptable or a youthful indiscretion in 2001, but we can keep going. So let's. In 2001, so the very same year as Trudeau's blackface Aladdin costume ball, African-American filmmaker Spike Lee made the movie Bamboozled. The film is about how a frustrated African-American TV executive created a blackface TV show just to try to get himself fired and at the same time expose the network who employed him as racist and bigoted. The movie is based on the idea that everyone knew, even in 2001, that you should be fired for doing blackface. Now, 
Let's talk about another film from the very same year, 2001. The movie is called Ghost World. It was sort of an angsty teen film. And in that movie, they included a commentary on blackface. Just watch. Let's address some discussion to this piece. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Can you tell us why? I don't know. I think it's totally weak. Yeah, it's totally offensive. Yeah. It's not right. Well, these are all valid comments, but I think we should see if the artist has anything to bring to this. Well, I found this when I was doing some research, and I discovered that Cook's chicken used to be called Coon Chicken. So I decided to do my project based on this discovery as kind of a, uh, a comment on racism and how it's whitewashed over in our culture. Did you actually do this painting? Well, no, it, it's more of a, a found art object. And how do you think this addresses the subject of racism? It's complicated. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm trying to show how racism used to be more out in the open and now it's hidden or, or something. And how do you think an image like this helps us to see that? Um, I'm not sure. I guess because when we see something like this, you know, it, it seems really shocking and we have to wonder why it's so shocking. I don't really know what to say, you know. I think it's a remarkable achievement. Yet Trudeau would have us believe that someone as entrenched in youth and pop culture as he was at the time, and as much as he claims to be today, didn't know that blackface was wrong? Impossible. It's utterly impossible. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of books and social commentaries written well before the turn of the millennium talking about just how racist blackface is. Megyn Kelly was fired for saying that blackface, well, it's just a costume. But that's basically what Justin Trudeau is saying today. It was a costume, and we all know how much he likes costumes. The time is now to ask our liberal friends. Careers have been ruined, utterly destroyed, because of blackface. Why should Justin Trudeau be any different? Are any of you liberals willing to stand up and do the right thing and denounce your leader, Justin Trudeau? Now, we've got a petition at TrudeauMustResign.com. Now, on that special website, you can see our video about the blackface scandal, and you can sign the petition there, and please share it widely. We know the mainstream media wants this whole mess to go away so that they can continue to protect Trudeau. Justin Trudeau's racism has caused Canadians to lose faith in him and has destroyed his ability to pursue Canada's interests on everything from Indigenous relations to foreign affairs. Canada is the world's laughingstock today, thanks to Justin Trudeau. Trudeau must resign for the good of the country. He just can't stop lying. We knew better back then. We all did. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Justin Trudeau has turned our great nation into an international laughing stock through his apparent blackface fetish. To sign our petition calling on Justin Trudeau to quit, go to TrudeauMustResign.com and please share that petition far and wide. We know the mainstream media would love for this blackface scandal to go away. Again, that's at TrudeauMustResign.com.